Hi guys, Anna is here and in this video we're going to be covering the second and the third stage of respiration that you guys need to know for your A-level biology. So grab a piece of paper so you can draw along with me and it's specifically important for this topic because you can learn from the diagrams, okay? So, and without further ado, let's just jump into it. Okay, so the second step of, react, of respiration is link reaction. We already covered glycolysis. If you haven't watched my video, I'll link it um, uh, above, so you can have a look at that. And now we're going to look at the, react, the second stage of respiration, aerobic respiration specifically, called link reaction. So link reaction occurs in the mitochondrial matrix. You can't say mitochondria anymore, you actually have to be specific. And the product of glycolysis, which was pyruvate, three carbon molecule, is going to be in the cytoplasm and to start off link reaction it needs to be actively transported into the mitochondrial matrix. Remember that for respiration topics it's important to focus on the number of carbon atoms and molecules. It's much easier and so remember that pyruvate is a three carbon molecule, okay? And we're just going to look what's going to happen to it in a moment. So basically the first stage is is the conversion of pyruvate into a molecule called acetate, which you can see only consists of two carbon uh, atoms. And obviously, guys, the structures will be more complicated, but we're just overly simplifying it for biology A level. So when carbon atom is lost from a molecule, it's called the carboxylation reaction. And in this case, it's going to be lost as a CO2 molecule. And here is a trick. Whenever there is, in respiration, there is a stage where CO2 is lost, okay, then remember that at the same time, this reaction will be also oxidation reaction in which reduced NAD will be produced, okay? And this trick is also, guys, important to remember stages at Krebs cycle, and it helped me a lot during my, students, uh, my student years, okay? So, and then the last stage of link reaction is conversion of acetate into a molecule called acetyl coenzyme A, Okay, it's not an enzyme, but I mean, it's just we just gave that name to it. And basically, the way it does is that acetate is going to combine with coenzyme A as a molecule. And that's it. We've produced a new two-carbon compound. Easy, guys. Only two stages of link reaction. You need to know that it happens in mitochondrial matrix, and that's about it. Okay, so learn this by heart, and now let's jump onto the Krebs cycle. So Krebs cycle, again, guys, is just a little bit more complicated, but if you just focus on remembering the number of carbon atoms, it makes it so, so much easier, okay? So the product of link reaction, which is acetyl coenzyme A, a two-carbon atom molecule is now going to uh, enter the Krebs cycle. And remember, Krebs cycle, guys, also occurs in mitochondrial matrix. So we're still kind of staying in the same place. And what happens is that acetyl-CoA, a 2C molecule, is going to combine with a 4C molecule to produce a 6C molecule, okay? Very simple mass. And for AQA, you guys, you don't even need to know the names of these molecules, but you can use them in your essays. For the rest of the boards, guys, examples, you have to learn this by heart. So basically, a 4C molecule is oxaloacetate, and then the citrate is, or citric acid is a 6-carbon molecule. And after that, there'll be two subsequent reactions of where these carbon atoms are going to be lost. So we're going to go from 6C to 5C compound. You don't even need to know the name of a 5C at this stage. And again, guys, similar principle to link reaction. We've lost CO2 and we've produced reduced NAD at the same time. Okay? Then from 5C to 4C, again, it's decarboxylation reaction. CO2 will be lost. And at the same time, we're going to produce reduced NAD, NAD in this case, and in some exams it might be called NADH. Then from 4C to 4C compound, so there are two different compounds, but they'll, we don't need to know the details of it, but what you do need to know that within this next conversion there will be a production of one single ATP molecule and one reduced FAD. FAD is an, an, another example of coenzyme that carries hydrogen um, ions, okay? with FADH2, okay? And then last conversion from a four carbon molecule back to oxaloacetate is just, this is where we don't lose any carbons, but we're still producing reduced NAD. And here it is, guys. This is the Krebs cycle for you. So if you just learn the number of carbons of the molecules and just follow which products are produced, this is it. Do not overcomplicate it, and it is as simple as you need to know it. And this is everything, guys, you need to know for link reaction and Krebs cycle. I mean, this is like 
five minutes <laughs> lesson, so which is pretty amazing. And if you really enjoyed this, please press the thumbs up, subscribe to my video, support the channel, and share this with your friends. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.